What's up everybody? Welcome to PricesKing.com. Today we're going to be talking about Ninja Trader and the replay function. How does it work? What's really behind it? And how to go about finding your data files <clears throat> so that you can actually replay the data. I love this feature of Ninja Trader and this is why I use it. And I want you guys to take a look in this video on how to use it properly. You may need some additional help navigating through it, but what I want you to understand is how it works. I'm gonna take you a quick peek into it and see how you can do it. What the beauty about it is you can actually pick a date in the past, as long as you have recorded data. You can pick a date in the past and you can replay that entire date for that particular future. And I'm going to walk you through that step right now and show you exactly how it works. This is great and you can actually use it to backtest some of your strategies. And if you're a coder and you understand how to write your own algorithmic trading bots and trading strategies, you can actually use this feature to test it out and make sure that your strategy works according to the parameters before actually making that strategy live with real data and real money All right and so that's the beauty about this so let's get right into it i'm going to log into my account all right so i logged in I'm gonna have to change some of my settings around so that I can show you. I'm gonna just use one specific trading chart and I'm gonna kind of show you exactly where it is. Um, while, while Ninja Trader is loading, what I want you to do is I want you to show you exactly where the data files are located, okay? Now, while this is loading, give me one second. Now, if you go into your documents folder, you're going to have this folder called Ninja Trader 8. And what I want you to do is I want you to click on Ninja Trader 8. Okay. When you go into Ninja Trader 8, you will see a folder called DB. Within that folder, you're going to have this replay folder. Okay. That is where the data is actually stored. Now, You'll see that there's a little check mark in my screen right here. It's probably hard to see for you guys, but what I actually did was I actually created a junction for this directory onto my external hard drive. Not external, but it's like a SSD. It's a faster hard drive because I, I needed additional space, right? I have so much data and I record data all the time and I you know, provide necessary services for people that want to use this function. And sometimes it's very difficult for everyone to record the data on a daily basis and whatnot. Uh, so what I do is I have you know, a couple, maybe about eight to 10 terabytes uh, of worth of data that I record. And then what I do is I have that stored on a separate server. And as you can see, I record oil, ES features, M, MNQ, NQ, NG. I have tons of um, folders in here. And what this really is, is like if you're, let's take a look at an example. Okay? Let's take a look at NQ. Uh, NQ is the NASDAQ uh, futures. And if you'll see, you will see a whole bunch of folders here related to NQ. And you'll see I have data going back to 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24, all the way up to June of 2024. Uh, and if you, when it stops at 324, but if you look at six, six has the same thing. It starts with June of 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right now we're currently in June 24th, but when you go into this folder, you will see the actual NRD files associated with that particular day each file has a certain number of data and that's where it is right so this all of this is just replay data all right 
and when when you load this data into the charts you can actually go ahead and um, replay it for a particular date so like for example this date 320 had a lot of data right so probably a busy day if you see one of the data that doesn't have anything it's probably either a saturday or a sunday where the market is closed uh, so just so that you know that that's how the actual data is it's just files and so now let's get into the actual um, ninja trader session and see what exactly how do where, where do you go into when, when you're a ninja trader in the connection settings you're going to have a whole bunch of these connection settings right what you want to do is you want to click on playback okay when you do that it's going to actually if you have you know mark every play data that you've actually loaded you'll see all of that data over here you can pick a day whatnot you can all of that stuff that you saw in my folder is actually in here and it'll show you what instrument you want to replay that you know market replay you can select it you can download certain dates whatnot what i'm going to do is i'm just going to continue here okay when i hit that continue button what is going to happen what it's going to actually go ahead and you see this yellow mark that just means that it's actually waiting to connect it's actually connecting and making sure that the files that are on my drive it's going to try to read through them you know one by one and sometimes you'll see messages in the, in the log area or the message area where oh okay you know what this file is corrupted that file is corrupted blah 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 okay and you'll see that okay there's a couple of nrd files that are corrupted and they'll be skipped which is fine maybe you know when i was downloading it for that day they got corrupted for whatever reason or you know it's incomplete the file was incomplete or whatnot the recording stopped and or it was incomplete for whatever reason when i lost network connections or whatever it may be right and so what it does is it reads through all of that and then what i have to do is i have to wait it, you know for the first time when you, you haven't done this in a while if you have so much data it's going to take some time right uh, normally you know if you are a type of person that just trades a certain instrument you'll just have that instrument data so let's wait for this to load pause it for a second okay it looks like it actually connected and as you can see it'll say oh playback primary connection connected and it'll be reset and whatnot what you're going to do is you're going to see a window like this pop up on your screen and it'll basically say okay when do you want to start to play when when does it end whatnot right and that's basically it once you've connected now you're connecting and it's anytime you hit the play button it's going to play that instrument from the folder now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to open up a new chart okay <clears throat> when you see that new chart all it is going to be is an empty chart so when i go over here i'm going to say new chart Okay, I'm going to pick an instrument. Okay, let's take a look at NQ. So, go to the futures, go to NQ. Boom. Now, what do you want to do? You want to use Renko? You know, most people, when they're beginning, they're always using minutes. And let's take a five minute chart. Everybody's used to it. When that happens the chart is going to load and i'm going to put it right here i'm going to put this right over here into the chart i'm going to go over here and i'd like to do this as i like to do a chart trader okay so you can see that it's on the playback right now it's not moving right now we are picking the june 24 contract now the only thing that I really don't like about how futures work is that every 30 months the contract changes. Okay, so now if you have a strategy and you want to test it out, you have to test it out in such a way that it automatically plays for that particular three months, and then when the switchover happens, you have to stop your strategy, switch it to the new chart, enable it on the new chart. 
that's the only drawback which which is annoying because like if you want to just run the thing and test it for a long time it kind of you know it, it, you can't go around it right that's just the way it is i don't see, i haven't found a broker that automatically seamlessly integrates the one contract after another okay and you're not going to find a broker right now if you do please let me know because i'm really interested in that you know anyways back to this let's just say you want to go back to uh you you go over here and you pick a date let's say april still would be a june contract fine <clears throat> march you know march the third friday of of march usually what that's when the contract rolls over people start trading a week before on the new contract uh, let's just say april 1st monday april 1st which was about 14 days ago hit the play button it's going to start loading and as you can see we're going to start seeing some activity once i hit the play button and when i hit the play button you'll start seeing Candles, the candles moving right and if I speed it up you can actually speed it up you hit the 1 2 3x 4x as you can see 6x 10x 11x and then I think it goes up to 1000x and then it goes max out all right so you max it out and it goes super fast okay and you can see the timings right if you look closely over here Three seconds it goes straight to 40 seconds 20 seconds it's moving super fast right now I can change this to five minutes to a one minute and you can see the difference boom 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 it's gonna start loading and super fast right now if I were to go ahead and add my strategy I can go ahead and pick my strategy Today, let's just pick one of my, this strategy. Uh, okay, fine, let's pick, uh, let's just do disable, blah, 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 blah. let's enable alerts. Mm, fine, well, I'll just pick some default stuff and just enable it, okay. Sometimes what happens is, you have to wait for it a little bit because it's trying to read the data and I suggest like one of the things that you want to avoid is avoid putting it max on your strategies uh, because sometimes what happens is if you have stop losses or built-in stop loss orders uh, you know trailing orders what ends up happening is when you have it on max it's so super fast it can't keep up your strategy may not be able unless you have if unless you have a program that's coded so that it doesn't and it takes that into consideration then you know by all means go for it but sometimes you know it'll jump the orders and you don't want to okay it placed an order and you can see how it does you can move your order around You can move your stops around while you're doing it, and obviously this is based on your strategies and whatnot, right? You see how it's super fast. This probably one minute, just all of these minutes finished in like 30 seconds, right? And you can change some of these settings so that you can show yourself instead of points, show it in currency, and she'll realize when it's flat. So right now I'm negative 170, blah, 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 blah. I can speed it up if I want to see how this position is going to stack. Um, and as, I, as, as you can see, right, I'm just playing it in on that particular day. Uh, I may get stopped out here. Oh, well, look at that. It's going up. Right. And the beauty of it is, you know, you can test this out. Once it's above the 100, you can maybe move your stop. You know, a little bit break even, and then hopefully it rides through. Okay, and not hope. I mean, you don't want to hope for anything, but uh, just to kind of give you an idea, right? Uh, how, how these strategies work and how the replay works. Now, how do you get this replay data? 
everybody's wondering where can I get this data I don't have that much space you want a couple of days or whatever right um, you can certainly go to our website priceskin.com and I'll put that uh, link in the description below you can actually go ahead and uh, uh, I'll be able to uh, capture that information for you and uh, get it over to you uh, sometimes you know not everybody has historical data and you want to be able to test your strategies on historical data and maybe even do a replay well, you can certainly do that and uh, you know please feel free to uh, go to my link and uh, I have instruments from ES, NQ, uh, YM, gold, silver, uh, gold, uh, I got uh, oil, uh, so many different things right Russell if you want uh, take a look uh, I have the link below and if you have any questions make sure you hit that like and subscribe uh, put them in the comments let me know what you, uh, any help you need and i'll be happy to help and this is pretty much it now say for example uh, you tested this and you want to let, let me just stop this out okay so before it starts i'm going to change the date okay right now i have four one so remember how I was telling you, you got to go back, let's just say I went to January, right, January 24th. When I go to January 24th, now because, because I'm currently in the June contract, my when I hit the play button, majority of the time this won't play, right, because there's no June data, I'm sorry, there's no January data for a June contract, right. So what you have to do is actually manually go in here and just type in three and then hit tab and it'll load the March futures. Right? Now when you do that and you hit the play button, you'll start seeing it apply, right? A lot of the time people get confused like, hey, my thing is not working, what's going on? Why my day I have the data but it's not working? Why is it not working? And that's the reason why, right? And so this strategy is one of my favorites. Um, you know, it works really well. As you can see, I got automatic stops. If you want that strategy, please let me know. Uh, I'll put the, the link below where you can purchase it. And if you have any questions on it, let me know. Priceisking.com. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.